Susan Smith with the singing of the National Anthems here from the Saddle Dome in Calgary where the Flames have the best record in the National Hockey League at home 27 4 and 4 in 35 games the Penguins meanwhile on the road are 11 18 and 4 in competition the scratch is quickly tonight uh, for the Penguins Chris Dahlquist Steve Dystra Robbie Brown will not play tonight for the Pens out with that shoulder uh, injury again it's bruised and battered and uh, he'll not be able to go for the Flames Roger Johansson just uh, recently acquired to a defenseman coming from Sweden uh, just in town and he'll probably play some games down the tail uh, end of the season Theo Fleury Gary Suter and Doug Gilmore is out of the uh, Calgary lineup for the play and right now they've got the presentation at center ice for the Canadian male athlete of the year it's presented by the Canadian press and they'll also have the uh, female of the year. Mariel Lemieux will win the male athlete of the year award. Kyle Conniker award. And Bobby Rosenfeld award will go to synchronized swimmer from the Olympics, Carolyn Waldo. You may remember that she did a presentation earlier in the season when we were in Montreal at center ice. We'll get another look at Carolyn. Well, Lemieux leading the National Hockey League in scoring with 171 points, and Mariel now in his quest to try and overtake Wayne Gretzky in the all-time record of the National Hockey League would have to average three and a half points a game to do it. Almost uh, in unheard of numbers to uh, be able to eclipse the 215 point total set by Wayne Gretzky. The Penguins have only 13 games left in the regular season and their magic number again is still 10, 10, 10 uh, points in the combination of the Penguins gaining 10 or the New Jersey Devils losing 10 points would give the Penguins a playoff spot for the first time since 1982. And Lemieux and Waldo exchange pleasantries at center ice. Two pretty great athletes right there. Yep, and in defense of Mario Lemieux, who was under some criticism here in Canada lately uh, for not doing interviews when asked to do them, Gary Green took a shot at him on national TV recently. Lemieux has said that he wants to do interviews after the morning skate, and if not, he's not doing any. Simple as